Ladies and gentlemen, today is a special video. As you can tell, this is not your regular outfit. You're probably looking at this kid right now. Who is this fucking car salesman? This kid's about to sell me a Maserati, maybe a Bugatti, maybe a two-bit hottie. Settle down. Not that type of video. Just came home for a wedding. All right? Kid's looking okay. Not too bad. With the shoes on. Don't let me kick you. Hit you with a quick little jet lead kick right to the chest piece. Cause a hemorrhage. I'm leaking. I'm one. You already know the deal. Lock it in. However, editor, get on it. I want you on it right now. Get the chair and pull up. Because we have a lot to talk about today. And today, ladies and gentlemen, it is about a loot video. Actually, no. It's not a loot video. Gotcha. It's a gotcha video. No, it's not even a gotcha. Scratch that. Editor, you better get on it before I hock a loogie on you. It's a video talking about PvP. It's a video talking about the best classes right now, currently in SOD, that I think is the best in PvP overall. Now, you're looking at the kid right now, and you're like, who is this guy? This guy's, you know, new beard. You know, I still got the, the bun, the bun piece on the back. Don't worry, the hair's still there, okay? You know, went to the barber shop, told him to give me a little cleanup, and now the kid's looking ready. I look like I'm about to go apply for a job right now. What the fuck is going on here? However, we're locked in. We're fully not even locked out. And uh, we're about four, I would say four red sangrias down. I'm a little sauced right now, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a little tipsy. However, I'm just joking with you. Drive safe. Or maybe not. However, lock it in. Anywho, get to the fucking video. Um, so yes... In today's video, we're going over the best PvP classes currently in this version of SOD when it comes to, uh, you know, Arathi Basin, Open World PvP, and Warsong Gulch, which is the currently, you know, only things we can do right now in PvP. Now, right off the rip, I'm going to just be honest with you. I already know what's going in the S-Class, but I'm going to settle down because you already know we got to get the water bottle. A little hot. Oh, shit. Almost threw up right there because I ate eight pounds of filet mignon. However... Lock it in, get the water in. Oh my god. And today, guys, I almost got into an accident while driving. That shit was crazy. However, hit that girl with an elbow. She's doing all right. Ask your mother how she's doing. Anyways, so, the video. Now, I'm going to keep it a buck fifty with you. I think, personally, when it comes to S tier and D tier, none of these tiers, in my opinion, truly matter. Because at the end of the day, if you know how to play your class and you know how to fight against a class, which is the most important thing, is having class intelligence and know how to counter that class with the right consumables. Maybe, you know, if you're trying hard with the right type of, you know, uh, throwables, like, you know, like fucking iron grenades, etc. Um, or you just know how to use your trinket at the right time with the right ability or playing your rotation perfectly. You can can beat every single class in the game at the end of the day it's just the truth maybe not when it comes to a warrior mage comp but however warriors got to try their ass off like they're fucking you know playing elden ring with just you know a prisoner build and just a club however um and it's a no hit run that's basically what a warrior versus mage is like lock it in so when it comes to the best class in the game for pvp right now as of currently and i think overall in general especially what we see in the future maybe it changes who knows i can't say it's set in stone but when it comes to level 40 pvp just the truth and i'm gonna say it right now it's the mage all three classes are viable all three classes are viable and now if you verse a mage and if you ever reversed arcane mages and gotten nuked out the sky you know what i'm talking about if you versed a fire mage and you're wondering why living flame is just ripping your asshole a new fucking one and you have two assholes now so now you're, you're looking down twice and you gotta wipe twice uh you're wondering why and then if you're looking at a frost mage in pvp yeah they're not good in pve okay they're all they're, they're not really yeah i'm gonna say they're pretty ass okay in pve they're not looking good right now maybe there's some love for them in the future however in pvp Different story. Mr. Ice Block. Hit you with a living flame. Mr. Ice Block, you're just burning and looking crispy like a rotisserie chicken. Like at the ones at the back of a Boston market. How you doing? However, um, yeah. F fucking Mage is insane. The counterplay they have. The blinks. The, the ability to frost nova, the ability to slow you down, the ability to shut down an opponent completely from the battlefield, causing them to waste their trinket. They have a lot of options, and they have a lot of healing options now with chronostatic preservation, where they can basically heal and heal and heal. And it's a never-ending fight, especially if it's a mage v mage fight. Oh, buddy, you're basically going to be in there for a long tug of war. Mages are absolutely fucking good. They're, they're, they're cooking, and uh, I think when it comes to PvP, they 
they are the kings of PvP currently at level 40 in Season of Discovery. Now, I do think in the future that might change. Who knows? But I think mages will always have a good spot no matter what in the high S tier or high A tier. No matter what, more than likely the low of S tier end, if anything. Right now, they are currently the best. Now, when it comes to a next tier list, because I don't want to put another class in S tier just yet. Or maybe I could off the rip if I should. Maybe I just just do it right now, but maybe we'll save it for a second. I'm going to put Shadow Priest in A tier. Now, before the nerfs, I think they were S tier. The end of S tier, though. Not all in the front of S tier. I think they're A tier. I think right now, Shadow Priests are disgusting. And we're talking about just damage specs right now. We're not talking about what's the best healing specs, what's the best yada yada yada. We're talking about what's the best damaging specs. And I really think Shadow Priests are fucking nasty in PvP. The abilities of the silence and the fact that they have so much armor where it feels like you're fucking hitting a druid sometimes because they have so much, you know, that, that shield, you know, that they're rocking on them. It's fucking disgusting. The fact that they could hit dispersion on your ass too and they could just dot you from a mile away, you know, with vampiric touch and like the amount of shit that they have have um it is a little bit disgusting um the, the the amount of stuff that they do overall or shadow word pain i think is the one that, that they be, may basically be doing or death whatever it's called however overall the amount of fucking dots that they have is out of this fucking world they got more dots than a dalmatian all right it's unfucking believable they're fully locked in and they're giving me fucking gonorrhea thinking about it i don't even know what that is settle down maybe ask your sister what it is lock it in however um we're going into the next one yeah shadow priests are a little bit fucking ridiculous but I will say it's not as bad as they once were. You still can kill them. Um, they are beatable, just like any of these classes. You can beat any of these classes. But when it comes to a Shadow Priest, they are very good and very strong in PvP overall. Warlocks. I think Warlock is A tier. I don't think Warlock yet is at the S tier. I think eventually it's going to get to that point, and this is what I've been saying, Oh, editor, I'll fucking kill you if you macro that to that button again. You better, is it this button? Is that button? You better lock it in and get the suit. Fix the suit, kid. Was those Steve Madden shoes or Gucci's? I'll slap you with one right now. I said what I said. Anywho, um, yeah, so about, uh, Warlocks. I think Warlocks, the minute they start getting the, if the runes come true about the dots with affliction and it starts dotting them, and it crits over time or some crazy shit. Well, just like what Shadow Priest might potentially get with these. They, Warlocks and Shadow Priest kind of share the same ball field when it comes to this. And if they start getting stuff like Pandemic, you know, Unstable Affliction, um, shit like Havoc, whatever. You know, if they start getting crazier down that field, I think Warlocks are going to be a fucking problem. I think Affliction Lock in PvP is already pretty, you know, okay in PvP overall. I think Affliction Lock is not like, obviously you're not going to play that in PvE, but the, the growth for Affliction, uh, you know, depending on what is it, like SM Ruin or DS Ruin, depending on where you're going, um, it is very good. It is very high. And it come next phase, if Affliction gets love, I can even see him get good numbers on the PvE totem pole. But right now in PvP, um, they're not that good. I think Drain Life Lock is much better in PvP. I think C Hearing Pain Lock is much better in PvP, and Chaos, you know, Bolt Lock with just straight-up Destro is much better. There's a lot of options. They have a lot of utility to control the battlefield. And especially, too, you know, like, the, their pets, you know, whether you have a Succubus or using, like, the Fell Hunter. Warlocks have a lot of good, uh, you know, utility overall. Now, I don't think their pets are as crazy as Hunter pets, but I do think their pets offer a lot of uh, strong options on the field, especially if they get more love with runes, and as the further as the game grows with new stuff coming out from Sod, I think Warlocks will look much, much stronger. So, that's about it for Locks. Shamans. If we can put this to like supreme leader tier um they would be the best fucking class in the game they already are the best class in the game they're better paladins i hate to say it i'm a paladin you know me but listen i'm a man of the light all right don't let the jacket fool you okay all right but i'm just gonna say it paladins um we're like it's like vegeta and goku we're vegeta they're just a step ahead it's in every other fucking way they bring more utility they fucking one shot. The burst is incredible. They have multiple good specs that are just complete viable. While the, while you're trying to build shocking for Paladin as much holy spell power that you can get, 
their elemental power is just fucking better, okay? With the lava burst and the totems and the recalling of totems and how much damage they dish with two hand and the fact that they can remove your buffs and slow you down, which don't get me wrong, I could try to freedom out of that, but then it's just a war of, a, uh, of attrition. It's a battle and who knows? It's either me or them. Gotta give shamans credits though. I'm about to spit on the editor to just talking about this. But shamans are pretty fucking nasty. Much love to them, amigos. They deserve the love. I'm not gonna lie. They've been shit for a long time. But in PvP, shamans have always been pretty, uh, you know, okay in PvP. I wouldn't say they've been bad. They've been pretty solid in PvP. Um, but in PvE, they never had that love. And besides bringing Wind Fury Tone, you know what I'm saying? But shamans now, bro? Shamans now? <sighs> we eating at a five-star buffet, baby. Much love to you, shamans. Claps in the comments. I only wish, my dream, is where we all can be there. All of us. But who knows? However, enjoy your stay, amigo, at the five-star hotel. Anywho. Warrior. D tier. I hate to say it, bro. Nah, I'll give him C tier. I'll give him some love. Warrior in PvP right now, currently, is pretty sad. I don't think Warrior, and I'm correct me if I'm wrong, does Warrior get Recklessness right now? Does Warrior get Recklessness? And if they do, that's pretty dope. But I don't know if they do. I think they get it at what point. Let me look on one of uh, the tabs up here. Wreck. Less. Ness. Spell. Level 50. Yikes. Yeah, once you guys get Recklessness... That becomes a fucking situation. The fact that you're going to be immune to fear effects and stuff like that. And you're going to be pumping damage. Oh, buddy. Yeah, recklessness is a scary thing. I think warriors overall, though. A smart warrior. A really smart warrior can increase himself to the high A tier in PvP. Especially when you pair a warrior and a priest together. Oh, buddy. Or even a warrior and, like, a resto druid. You know what I mean? Like, when you pair a healer with a warrior, a warrior is looking real good. Um, but by himself, there's just a lot of classes that outshine the warrior at the current moment. Yeah, they can hamstring. Yeah, they can apply deep wounds. Yeah, they can do intimidating shout. Um, but it's not enough. Deflection is nice, but when they just pop deflection, for me, as example, as a paladin, I would just bubble. I would just bubble out of it, or I would just try to hodge him or repent him. And then it would waste it. And then I would kite it out. And then waste their cooldown. You know what I mean? So I think warriors deserve a little bit more love in the PvP scene. Um, and it's going to be time will tell, you know, what they give them, uh, you know, overall with the runes. And we'll see what happens and go from there. But I think right now, currently, I'm going to have to put them at the bottom of this list as they need help. Uh, and in PvE, I think they're actually pumping right now. If you look at the logs, warriors are actually starting to rise, and they are coming higher and higher. And that sounded a little sus the way I said that. I'm about to buzz. Settle down. Not that type of fucking video. But I really think warriors have a lot of potential. And I think, um, you know, come endgame PvE, I think they're going to get back to that spot when they were wearing the crown and throne. So let's see what happens. However... Much love to the warriors that are busting their ass out there. I want you to guys to know this. I don't shit on any fucking class in this video. And don't get it twisted in the comments. I like all the classes. I think any guy or girl that busts their ass and enjoys the game and has fun and is playing at their pace and at their momentum, more power to you. And if you like playing your class, even if it's dog shit, because Blizzard is failing you, not the community, more power to you. Much love. However, lock it in. Now, I think the Druid... Now, I'm going to put the Druid. I think the Druid is a low-end A tier, but a mid-B tier right now. I'm going to say low-end A. Mm, maybe B. Because I think there's more things they can give to the Druid overall. Utility, uh, maybe either utility-wise, uh, for damaging overall, like better runes and stuff like that, to provide more burst damage. Because in open-world PvP, they're fucking nasty, dude. Like, if somebody's not expecting a Druid creeping up behind them, you're getting bursted. Especially Cloth Wares. Like, Druids smack. And they will smack relatively fast. I think they bring great utility stuff and PvE stuff. But we're talking about PvP shit right now. I think they're very tanky. They're amazing. If I was going to say Warsong Gulch. Let's say Warsong Gulch. Top tier Warsong Gulch class. If anything, maybe S tier Warsong Gulch class. But if we're talking about Wrathy Basing. And we're just talking about PvP in general. I would say they balance between the S to B tier. From S A B. Alright. 
Sorry, ass bitch. <laughs> but basically, they're uh, they're they're a tough ass bitch overall. If that was a T, Loki, they are very strong. A lot of armor, a lot of sustain. They can heal themselves. Entangling roots. They can sneak. They're not. Their sneak is not as good as a rogue. I would say overall, because rogues have sprint, you know, and stuff like that. Um, and rogues have a lot more options. But I think the druid is a respectable class. I'll give them love and say it's A. Let me just say low A. Okay, they are on the low end of the hay. I think Shadow Priest is first, Warlock, and then Druid. I will say that. Rogue. I think Rogue, a bad Rogue, is a bad Rogue. And they will go B tier. But a fucking good Rogue in PvP, a fucking good Rogue, is a thing of nightmares. And if they know what to do, and they're specced into the right uh, specialization... Whether they're doing subtly rogue or they're doing assassination rogue or combat, I think most rogues. I'm, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I think if a buddy of mine, Izzy or Izzaraf, you can answer that in the comments below. Help the rogues out down there and have some rogue comments. Do you guys go subtly rogue when you do for like improved sap and stuff like that? I'm actually curious because the amount of times you guys go from you know the sap into the gun combo into you know um, was it the blind combo into shadow step. Right now you're right behind me. It's fucking insane. I think rogues. And I'm just going to say it. I don't give a fuck if anybody's tight. S tier. I think rogues and PvP are fucking S tier. I actually think they're the coolest PvP class. I personally want to fucking play a rogue just for shits and giggle. And learn one just for fun. Because I think rogues are actually cool as fuck. And yeah, they don't get a lot of love right now in PvE. And people want to shit, uh, shit on them and say, oh, they shouldn't come to the raid. Yada, yada, yada. They provide a kick and that's all they're good for. Bro, rogues are fucking awesome, dude. Stop shitting on the class because maybe you don't like the class. And if you were to ever play it, you'd be dog shit at it. With all due respect. S tier rogues are fucking S tier PvP classes, and they offer a lot of good stuff. You got to think about the fact that they can camp Arathi Basin flags, cap Warsong flags. They can like they they basically well not cap. They can uh, defend at stealth and give fear and worry to people at those positions to make lives hell for people trying to cap a flag and secure a W for the game. Because after all, when you play PvP in in game modes, it's a team-based game mode. And in any class that can fuck up uh, a class in general and totally isolate them with a sap, ambush, or whatever you're fucking doing, backstab, whatever, a, a, a class that can isolate a character is a good class. I think rogues are S-tier. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Now, the hunter. Of course, we're saving Paladin for last. The hunter. I think... I think hunters have better pets right now currently obviously than the warlock but i think right now the biggest problem with the hunter is they they're pretty in my opinion this is just my opinion and i i don't know maybe it's just me maybe i've heard some bad hunters they're not that hard to kill now they have faint death i think the the biggest thing that makes them strong is their trap launcher and i think the pets do a good amount of damage to cause annoyance um but I think the hunter right now, I think it's best uh, or spec right now that people are still doing is like the flanking strike build pretty much uh, and dual wielding. But I do think marksman hunters have a really good place. So I'm going to say this with respect. I think hunters have a good spot in the middle. They're really strong. They can they can prevent, you know, like uh, in like especially in Warsong Gulch, a flag runner from running, you know, concussive shots, stuff like that, uh, trap launchers, etc. So they offer a lot of good utility to the battlefield. So I'm looking at it in the grand scheme of things, not just, oh, it's a, a class that is just not super strong. But I think overall, they they do offer a lot to the field, which affects, I think personally, more than any other class in the game based on the control of the field that they have. Even more than, like, priests, even though everybody always wants to gun down the priest or gun a holy paladin or gun the resto druid or whatever, healing mage, overall, marksmen's are fucking annoying. They control a set of tone on the field. You ever went up in fucking, for example, you ever try to go up a hill in a Rathi Basin and there's a fucking frost trap there and you're the only paladin that has one freedom? Nobody else is popping faps and being a loser and trying that hard. If you are, more power to you. However, let me get some gold at Hello J Tello, by the way. Lock it in. That's a side note. I'm not a car salesman. However, hunters are fucking annoying. And I think with respect, I would say in my mind, they are A tier. Uh, but I'm going to keep them at B tier right now because I think they deserve more love. 
I think they deserve a little bit more love. Now, besides, the, maybe, I know they got hit in meet PvE with the melee buff, and they were, like, the best class in the game, uh, which I think they still are one of the top damaging classes in the game. Um, but overall, I think in PvP, there's some more love and runes that can go into this class to make it a little bit more juicy, if you agree with me, my hunters. And let's talk about it in the comments below. Because obviously, I'm not superior. My superiority knowledge on all this fucking class shit, it's not at an all-time high. I know it from experience with certain classes, but I'm not going to sit here and admit that I know every fucking class out the book. I just know it from my experience in the battlefield. I've been playing fucking PvP for a minute, okay? I've been playing in Classic Era. I played in TBC. I played in Wrath. And I played it here in Season of Discovery. And, pri and no, actually, no, not private service, because obviously I was dying too much. I was getting killed at private service. However, um, in just, you know, season of discovery. And I'm learning as we go, and then just from based from my experience, the Paladin's uh, based experience. So call it based in the comments, for sure. Lock it the fuck in, I'll slap you. However, Paladin, <laughs> D tier. All right, and that's the end of the video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed... <laughs> No, wait, settle down, settle down, settle down. I can't even get it out. It won't even let me get it out. It agrees. It agrees. This is making me sick. I'm so annoyed. Anywho, I th <laughs> this is not right, bro. Put it in the fucking end. I'm so mad right now. Okay, listen. I realistic, uh, realistically think that, like I said earlier, paladins are one step behind shamans. So what does that mean? I think it goes A tier. I think they're somewhere in the middle right here. I don't think they're 100% really better than a Warlock, and I don't think they're better than a Shadow Priest, but I also think these three, when they fight, it's good fights together. I have nothing but fun fighting Shadow Priest, nothing but fun fighting a Warlock. A good Warlock can beat me for, most times, and I'm not going to lie to you and say here I'm the best, but I learn from my battles and my L's. But I fought all these classes, and I've beaten them all, and I've lost to them all. And that's the thing. I've learned a lot from my time in Season of Discovery and testing out the new runes. Um, but that's really basically it. I, I think, you know, um, Paladins, you know, we offer a lot of control in the field, depending on what we're doing. If it's, you know, Avenger Shield, we're going for three concussive, you know, tunes on the field. And now those three characters are stunned, whether they decide to waste, a, you know, a trinket or a waste ability to get themselves out of this concussive state for 10 seconds. That's on them. Um, and then also we offer our, you know, our buff. Bubbles, our bobs, our lay on hands. If we decide to cheese, we offer our exorcism, our procs. We have, you know, shocking in builds where sometimes a lot of range classes get scared of that, where they're not expecting, you know, purifying power with the, you know, a holy shock and an exorcism. You know, they're not expecting that. And we offer a lot of, um, you know, good damage, bursty damage, just like many of the classes in this game are all burst damage, right outside, right? But overall, I think the Paladin is a very strong class with the com combination of Hodge and the combination of, you know, Repent, especially if you're doing Deep Ret, uh, or if you're going to be doing one of my personal favorite as of lately, the Deep Reckoning Bomb, which against, you know, melee classes like Warriors and Rogue, Shamans, anytime, you know, or, or even Druids, you know, when they're smacking me, and then I counter them, you know, with a big Wreck Bomb attack, that's some really... Oh my god, I want to bust. Settle down. Not the type of video. But uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. And then also, you know, there's a lot of good... Like I said, you know, even on the healing end, Holy Paladins, pretty good in PvP. Overall, all these classes... The healing aspects of these classes, like Resto Druids, uh, Priests, and Mages, too, offer a lot of good healing on the field overall. But as far as in terms of just DPS, this is my list. This is my list. Maybe you agree with me. Maybe you don't. It's totally fine. And just because I put your class on the lower end doesn't mean it's disrespect to you. Not at all. I love all classes. My fucking class at the end of the day to start WoW was a warrior. Deep arms, okay? In Eye of the Storm, all right? With the fucking, with, um, with the, the Deep Fury, baby, all right? With the, what was it called? My gosh, I'm fucking forgetting the name of it. I'm forgetting the name of it. I can't believe I'm forgetting the name of it. I was playing it in TBC, bro. Where can we go? Let's go Burning Crusade. I'll look it up right now. Hold on. The Deep Thunder? Was it the Deep Thunder? There it is, baby. There it is. The Juice, bro. Okay? And I believe this upgraded into, what, Storm's Herald or something like that? I forget the name of the next upgrade after that. My knowledge, like I said, I'm a little saucy right now. Five sangria is deep. However, I was with a warrior is what I'm trying to say, okay? And um, overall, I love warrior classes. I think they're fucking dope. I have no shit or no shame on any of you guys, even hunters. I just, this is my personal, you know, experience. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm fucking sauced right now, bro. I'm a little sauced. Though. Should I stream right now? Should I go live? I have no idea. Lock it the fuck in before I spit on you. Much love, amigos. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, keep on keeping on. Scene of Discovery has been lit. And you're looking like a bitch right now. You better lock it in. Enough of your attitude. I'll kiss you. You want to do a little bachata? Settle down. Much love.
I'll catch you later. Peace. If you want